I'm super excited to show off the Math Dash Chats for third grade. I finally finished them and I'm really excited about them. So slide one here has all of the weeks. So if you're using it each week, it's easy to get to. So let's go ahead and look at one. So I'm going to click on to slide two. And I don't have them covered up so that the teacher can see all of the activities that are available to them. Each week, there are five categories. The categories stay the same for the entire year. Which one doesn't belong? Convince me that. Graphing. Geometry. Measurement and rounding. You'll notice that these are all geared towards talking, thus the chat part of it all. This is a really quick activity where the students should and the class should only spend approximately five minutes discussing. Each day, the students choose one category or the teacher can choose one category to discuss. So how it should work or how I envision it working is there are these doors over to the side. So if I click and hold and highlight all of those doors, you'll get that blue line. I can then grab the corner of one and just drag all of them over at once and looking to see if I need to move any of them. I notice that this one can move over a little bit. This one can move down a little bit. So I can actually, because they're all still highlighted, kind of do all of that at once. And there we go. And they're not perfect, and that's okay. And if I want to make this one bigger, move it, I can go ahead and move it. So the student or the teacher chooses a door. So let's say you choose the yellow door. So the teacher would then move it aside so that students haven't seen any of these yet. And the convince me that is four tens is the same as three tens and ten ones. Well, this is a fantastic talking activity. First, the students will discuss with one another that that is true and how it's true. Since this is week one, you may need to break out the manipulatives, the 10 rods and the one units so that the students can have time to discover this on their own and then come together as an entire class and discuss it. And then this just happens every day. So maybe the next day they choose the red one. And so the red door gets moved aside and you can see that they have to describe the attributes of a rectangle. So again, this doesn't take very long. You can get rid of this side panel here by this little arrow right here, and it kind of streamlines it a little bit. And you can see here's week number two. I like having one, two, three, or four, or A, B, C, and D for the which one doesn't belong. And they're all a little bit different. But there are those categories that we might not spend a whole lot of time on because there are other categories as well. Third grade is a difficult grade as it has the most standards, I think, of all the elementary grades. Between ELA and math, it has 96 standards, I believe. So I just thought I'd share this. Let me know how it goes for you.